Hi guys, it's Adrian Caprice here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I focus on everything fitness, health, wellness, and lifestyle. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am your new fit bestie. And if you are not new, welcome back. So today's video is all about creating healthy girl habits. And I'm going to talk about a few things that I have incorporated into my life that has helped me change my life, be more positive, and just be more healthier and all around you know that girl but not just becoming that girl but becoming that woman okay so the number one thing i love to stress on my channel is taking time for yourself and so one of the things that i like to do is creating a morning routine well i have created a morning routine i encourage you to do that especially if this is the only time of the day you have to to dedicate to yourself i would say wake up an hour early two hours early before the rest of your family or before you have to actually go out into the world and take time to do devotionals read the bible meditate or work out just pour into you before you have to pour into anyone else and having a morning routine really creates a sense of urgency to my day like okay i have to get up i have to do this because we only get 24 hours in a day and you want to make sure that you take control of every single moment that you have. And also having a morning routine has helped me become more organized because as we all know, the routine does not start when you wake up. It starts the evening before. So keep that in mind, ladies. So number two is a fitness routine. This is a fitness channel. I mostly talk about fitness on my channel and I love working out. And that is something that I have encouraged every single person that I come across <laughs> to do is to work out because it helps your body. It helps you mentally. It's just amazing. If you cannot commit to four times a week like I do, try two days a week, Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Wednesday, and stick to those days for two months. And then once you get a grasp of those days, head on a third day. Come up with a schedule if you have a certain physique goal that you have, okay? I want a bigger butt in a smaller waist. I'm gonna walk one day a week and I'm going to do leg workouts two days a week. And that's just an example. Also, if you are not a I'm gonna figure it out on my own type of girl. Do fitness classes. So like right here, I'm doing a yoga class on YouTube, but it's okay to seek help if you don't know exactly what you wanna do. So if you need to go sign up for Pilates or get a trainer, do that. But put your health first, cause I promise you, you will love yourself for it. That felt so good. Um, I will leave the link to the YouTube video that I watched down below. I actually just started watching her videos and I love them so. The benefits of eating healthy outweigh a lot of what a lot of people may think. So if you are working out and you have developed a fitness routine, eating the correct macros and eating for your body is going to be what makes you have that snatch waist or that um, weight loss that you want or weight gain. But one thing I will say is that you have to figure out what eating healthy is for you because I give you guys so many meal examples on here but you have to eat for your body because everybody is different literally everybody <laughs> is different but you have to kind of like figure out what your body likes my body loves high protein my body loves vegetables and whenever I fuel my body with nutrient dense food my brain loves it and I am a firm believer that the gut and the brain it all goes hand in hand we have to free ourselves from thinking that we are superwoman and superman and it's okay to think of yourself that way but let's be honest we all get forgetful and writing a to-do list every single week or every single day keeps me on track with the things that i need to do 
I know it sounds so simple, but as you guys may or may not know, I am back in school and it helps me stay on top of deadlines, on top of birthdays, things that I need to accomplish. And if you don't have an iPad, get you a piece of paper, go get you a planner, and I promise you, you will be on top of it, okay? I think this is very self-explanatory, but when you look good and smell good, you just feel good, or at least that's what I like to tell myself. I love getting up and putting on maybe eyebrows and mascara and a little bit of lip gloss. Now today I'm doing a little bit more because I wanted to look cute for y'all and I was going to the grocery store. But putting on a matching set or something that makes you feel good just makes you feel more confident. We are about to make lunch. It's like one o'clock, so I wanna go ahead and eat before I head to the grocery store because we do not wanna be in the grocery store hungry because then I'll start to buy up everything. Before we make our dinner, before I make our lunch, I wanna show you guys my outfit from Target. So it is like a jogger set basically. So it's a, what? My neighbor's over there having a field day. But it is just this two-piece jogger set. And I wore it in my Denver vlog. And I absolutely love it. So I'm going to see if they have some black ones when I go today. And it is um, like a flare or whatever. So, yeah. It is okay to be new. And as your new fit bestie, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. It's okay to be new it's okay to have new experiences and try new things especially if it's making you a better person or if it's making you more money getting you a promotion at your job like think about it these companies they reinvent themselves what every five ten years it's okay to reinvent yourself it's okay to do new things to eat healthy to lose the weight and let me tell you one thing about people whether you're doing good or bad they're gonna be talking so why not just live it up and do what you want to do in your life because people are going to talk regardless Going to sleep early has been stressing our lives since we were little children, and it is really important. In order for me to optimize the next day, I need to go to bed by 10, 10, 30, 11 if I'm stretching it. But one of the things that I really want to stress in 2023 is having a solid nighttime routine. Most of the time, I just, you know, I gotta be in bed by 10, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm telling you guys this, but I'm going to be honest. I really am kind of lackadaisical when it comes to my nighttime routine because I don't know. As, as long as I'm in bed by a certain time, I'm good. I just found out that women actually need more sleep than men. And I'm pretty sure it's because we go through so many different stages with our hormones and having our cycles and our periods. But there is a such thing as beauty sleep. If you go years, especially in your 20s, without getting adequate rest, it will show in your skin. It will show in your body. Especially if you are working out, your muscles need time to recover and sleep aids in muscle recovery. And also, you want to be rejuvenated for the next day. So, sleep is very important, child.
before I end off the video I want to let you guys know that I post every single Sunday and before you click off the video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already I would love to have you here a part of my fit family and I'll see you guys next week bye